Y'all want to see if I can get the dogs to bark? No. You want to say that H-E-L-L-O <laughs> Mom knows what it'll get them barking. Hello? Yeah, I was going to say hello or hey. We got a golf course in the house now. And we have three quiet, quiet DOGs. Mom, you like in your seat? <laughs> hey, Dad. Hello, darling. Hey, Uncle Ray. <laughs> They're all playing on their phones like a bunch of teenagers. Let's see. I'm not going to say it, but y'all know what I want to say real loud, right? I'll go outside and then maybe I can say it. Um, all right, so I had some great questions today in my inbox and I wanted to answer those with you real quick. Uh, the first question came from somebody I'm pretty sure was a spammer. It was a new friend request that I had today and I don't really think they were asking, but they asked how long I'd been in real estate. So I flipped my first house with my parents in 09. It was a house that they'd had as a rental since like I was born, it was the house that they were living in. Actually, my mom bought it from my uncle in the 70s. And that was the house where we were living when I was born. Uh, I was born in the hospital, though. Not really, like, in the house. But that was the house we were living in. Anyway, uh, when they had Tyler, they got another house and a bigger house. But they didn't sell the first one. They just rented it. Shocker. All right. I call those accidental landlords because they didn't buy the house to be a landlord. They bought the house, then bought another house and became a landlord. All right. So my mom and dad are accidental landlords um, from buying the first house from my uncle. So I've literally been in real estate my entire life. Uh, but I flipped that house with them in 09, so technically my first flip was in 09, but I started doing creative financing in 2014, so when he asked how long I'd been in real estate, I didn't really know if I should say 1984, 2009, or 2014. I don't know. Uh, technically, I was with Dad when he negotiated to sell our family uh, land in 07 when we sold it to a developer. So, I don't know, but I've been in real estate for a while. All right, that was the first question in the inbox. Second question in the inbox came from a lady that I, she used to work at the hair salon that I went to, and, um, you know, we're just friends, right? So, she wanted to know, there was a friend of hers that had a felony, and this friend with the felony can't get anybody to rent to her, even though she's been out of jail for a long time, and she's got her life together and she's trying to get you know going and do some things and none of the landlords will rent to her because she's got this felony on her record and she wanted to know if i would rent to somebody with a felony and how to get my properties and what do i have available and blah 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 blah, blah. and i said yeah i'm down let's go for it i don't care whatever um i'm I, i'm okay with it I think, you know, there's a lot of people that have given me a second chance in life and I've apologized and, you know, there's things that I've done right and wrong and indifferent in my life and I'm I'm not going to hold that against somebody just because they, you know, made a bad decision, made some bad choices in their past. There's some people that I love, 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 love who made some bad decisions and some bad choices years and years and years ago, and I'm not holding that against them. I've had some bad choices and bad decisions myself years and years and years ago, and hopefully people aren't holding that against me. So yeah, I'm down. If you got a felony, I'll rent to you. I don't care. I don't care. Um, there's seven protected classes in real estate investing, and I, I will rent to anybody as long as they got the green stuff that'll go in my account at the first of every month, every single month. That's really what I'm judging you on. <laughs> Do you have money, honey? <laughs> so I told her, yes, go to WhitneyBuysHouses.com. We've got one house available right now. Uh, my mom and dad might have a house for rent coming up in a couple weeks or months, depending on some things. Um, but it'll go on WhitneyBuysHouses.com under available properties as soon as it is available. So, yes, I'm down. And then I had a, a third person in my inbox and he said hey Whit, 
can I ask you a question? Will you give me a call in a little bit? And I said, sure. So I gave him a call and he said, hey, I'm a dude. <laughs> and I said, I know who you are. <laughs> and he said, I've got a kid that also wants to be a real estate investor, but he's a dude. And I know you like women, but will you help him? And I said, yes, it's fine. I do prefer working with women. It's true. I love helping women get their first deal done fast. But there's 271 people in the First Little and Fast Facebook group right now. And probably 13 or 14 of those people are dudes. Now, my husband is one of those guys. And I don't know if dad's in there or not. But there are some men in our flock. And it's totally fine. I will help men. I'm happy to help men. My one-on-one -on -one client that I have right now that I've been working with since July helped him make about $30,000 immediate plus some extra cash flow and back-end paydays. Uh, he is a he, all right? So my one one-on-one -on -one client right now is a dude. I will help men. I love men. Uh, two of my favorite men in the house right now. I'm okay with it. I love men. I just really feel like uh, women are kind of underserved in the real estate investing market. And there's nobody more qualified to help women than me. <laughs> so I really focus on helping women, but I will help dudes. I'm happy to help you. I'm happy to help your son. I'm happy to help your husband. I'm happy to help your brother, your uncle, your dad, whoever it is. I'm down for it. All right. Um, the lady that taught Jason and I our wedding dance, I coached her dad. Okay. I'm, I'm fine with it. I'm down for it. Whatever. I'm, I'm cool with it. I just prefer to help the ladies. All right, my sales pages, my videos, all my stuff is, you know, pink. <laughs> it's very pink around in here. I got on my pink when he buys houses shirt today, but I'm happy to help dudes. It's all good. And the honey hole challenge next week is also open to dudes. You do not have to be a lady to be in the honey hole challenge. And it's free and it's five days. We've got a task that's going to go out every single morning. At 6 a.m., got to get up early and get this done before the rest of your life happens. And then we're going to do a live uh, question and answer every night at 7 p.m. So this is a live challenge, and I will literally be hanging out with you for five days next week. So go to GetYourMoneyHoney.com and get signed up. Whether you're a male or a female or whatever else, come on in. It's fine. Okay? Y'all, we're going to have the prettiest pink sunset tonight. I got to show you this real quick. Can you see that? Is that as pretty on your screen as it is on mine? Look at that. It looks like cotton candy out there. Oh, I just love it. Love it, I love it, I love it. Okay. Um, also, this gentleman said something interesting to me, and he said that, you know, he really wants his son to get into real estate investing because he's, he's interested in it right now. And he told me that he wished he'd gotten into real estate investing when he was younger. I hear you, but y'all, it's not too late to get into real estate investing. It, it's really not. Uh, one of the ladies in FDDF Plus today is working on an owner financing deal. She's going to put $100 down and start renting this property and cash flow $300 a month. I don't care how old you are. You probably got $100 that you could turn into $300 a month, don't you? It's just prettier this time. I got to show you. Isn't that prettier? Look how nice that is. Gosh, I hope you can see how pretty that is. All right. However old you are, it doesn't matter. It's not too late. Um, I used to play a whole lot of poker. Oh, I didn't flip it around. Flip, camera. I used to play a whole lot of poker with my uncle, actually. And um, we always said as long as you had a chip in a chair, you could get a card. And in real estate investing, you need 10 bucks to get invested in these deals. You don't need $100,000. If you're paying for kids' college tuition, if you're buying cars uh, for you know 16-year-olds, if you're uh, thinking about paying off your primary house, if you're stacked up on credit card debt because you paid off the divorce attorney, if you're stacked up on credit card debts because you, you know, took a, a line out against the house, and then use that to buy houses like it's fine I don't care wherever you are in life and in your financial situation I just can't get over it I gotta show you again 
it's not too late. I don't care how old you are. I don't care what else you got going on. It's not too late. I want everybody to join this challenge next week. All right. The um, how to find your honey hole challenge. A honey hole is where we go to make the money, honey. It's where we're going to be a big fish in a small pond. It's where we're going to, you know, I, I, what do they call it in regular real estate? Like your target market, your, not your demographic, but like your zip code, your little neighborhood, your little spot where you could buy up four, five, eight houses on one road. Like that's what we're looking for. And that's what I'm going to help you find. That's what I'm going to help you uh, start to see in your area all right we did a video today i went driving for dollars i took y'all on a little trip driving for dollars earlier today but i also did a hidden video that you didn't see today and we went driving for dollars around my neighborhood and i really talked through what i'm looking for when i'm looking for the house what i'm seeing what kind of assumptions i'm making when i'm looking at these houses what kind of houses what kind of neighborhoods i'm really looking at because it's not just the one house you're looking at you're looking at the whole neighborhood and because one house is occupied right now doesn't mean it will be next week or next month you know what i mean so that's what we're going to do next week and i don't care if you're male or female come on in all right we need some males in this flock anyway <laughs> But come on in. I don't care how old you are. I don't care how young you are. Uh, legally, you have to be 18 and of sound mind and body to sign a valid real estate contract. So I guess I do need you to be 18. Otherwise, I'm good. Let's go. All right. And then the other, the fourth question I had in my inbox today came from a lady that said that her and her husband are in a tight spot, but one of their dads or their papas or their uncles or cousins, somebody in somebody's family was going to owner finance them, uh, the family farm, but she needed to know which contract to use and needed it this week so that she could sign the contract and get her people to do it and then buy the farm. Awesome. I am so down for that. All of my contracts, though, are in First Deal Done Fast, and you need to be in First Deal Done Fast to get access to those. And, or, uh, I charge $9.97 an hour if you want to just do a one-hour consult with me. It's a grand for an hour, uh, but First Deal Done Fast is two grand, and there's like, you know, 140 hours worth of stuff. So, the deal is in First Deal Done Fast. I'm just saying. Uh, the real deal is in FDDF Plus, though, because if you do have questions every week and you're wanting to do deals every week and you've got sellers you're talking to and you got deals that you're analyzing then you want to be with me once a week and that's what we do in fddf plus which is a sweet deal um but i'm not worried about that right now we're not talking about that right now i'm focused on the honey hole challenge all right this lady that sent me this message she's found a honey hole she wants to buy the family's farm awesome great i just don't hand out my contracts but if you're in a situation where you are trying to buy the family farm or you do just need a contract Y'all, Google a real estate attorney. Call them. Tell them what you're trying to do and tell them that you need a contract. They will be happy to write up this contract and do the closing for you. Uh, that's what you really need if you think you just need a contract. You need a real estate attorney or a real estate title company or whatever your state does, especially if you're just going to do the one single deal. I really help people that want to do one deal a month, one deal a year one deal a quarter, but one deal on a regular basis and they really want to be a real estate investor instead of just buy the family farm. I mean, if you want to buy the family farm, then yeah, you're welcome to come on into the honey hole challenge also, but it's really for the people that want to be real estate investors this year, next year, 10 years, and in a hundred years, they want their family to be eating off the seeds they planted now. All right. All right, so that's who was in the inbox today, and those are the answers that I had for them, and I hope that if you have any questions, you can, you know, drop them down in the comments here. I see that Sheila and Carrie are ready for the Honey Hole Challenge next week. Woohoo! It is a free five-day challenge, and everybody is invited. So go to GetYourMoneyHoney.com and sign up. 
come on, y'all. This is going to be amazing. I uh, looked earlier. We have 126 people that have signed up and registered. Remember, it's free, and it's five days with me, five different tasks to help you find a honey hole, get started talking to sellers, and making offers. I mean, we're going to move fast next week, super duper fast, and I want you to be in on all of the action. And it is just five days, and I don't know if we're going to do this again this year or if we're going to do it this way again this year. I don't know. We're going to see how it goes. So uh, come on in. Let's have some fun. Let's learn together, and let's find your honey hole so we can make that money, honey. <laughs> Yay! All right, awesome. I'm going back in. We are having breakfast for dinner tonight, and everybody's at my house, so I'm not being a very good host, hanging out with y'all when I got company. So, mwah! Bye, I love y'all. I'll see you in the Honey Hole Challenge. Go to GetYourMoneyHoney.com. And I'm going to go in here and uh, put the bacon in the oven. Oh, Mom's checking on the bacon now. Okay, good. She takes good care of me. All right. I will see y'all later. Go to GetYourMoneyHoney.com and sign up for the How to Find Your Honey Hole Challenge. Bye, y'all.